Welcome students to the newest web series video. My name is Lisa Erickson. I am the College and Career Coordinator here at Graduation Alliance, and I am here to chat with you a little bit about budgeting for college students. And as you know, this information is going to be helpful throughout your entire life. Figuring out how to budget and to best take care of your finances is going to help you in so many ways. And developing positive habits in this area early in life is going to really make a difference in the future. So that's one of the reasons why this is very important and something that I hope you guys will listen to and at least take some pieces of what I'm going to say hopefully to heart and start to implement them. So as you guys know, it is important that you are managing money that you are not overspending what it is that you get or what you have, what you make, however you're getting your income, and that you stay as organized as possible. That's really important. And I'm gonna show you um, how to use kind of some sheets to do that in, in just a few minutes. But one thing that you wanna start thinking about as you're creating your budget is really determining the difference between what a want is and what a need is. The money that you have do you have enough to put into both areas or do you really need to focus on those needs? And that's something that might ebb and flow throughout your college days um, as well as in the future. But that's something to really think about. How much money that you bring in will go to that category of need and how much will go to the category of wants? So something to think about. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit too. So one thing that I just wanted to throw out there and point out is the issue of student debt. And it is something that can be life changing. So know that it can sometimes be unavoidable. You know, we have to borrow money sometimes to, to do the things that we need to do. And that's just life. But if you can focus on utilizing any resources you have, including getting a job, paying as much as you can, taking out as little as you can in the form of loans, the better off you're going to be moving forward. Okay, so keep that in mind. So we're going to talk about some steps of how to work on this budget in college. We're going to talk about breaking down your income, assessing your expenses, looking at the numbers, and then finally kind of creating that budget where you're actually putting that information down on paper. So the first thing is really to ask yourself some questions. Think about how much are you going to be getting from financial contributions, let's say from family members. Maybe you have parents who are going to help you towards your um, educational expenses. Or maybe you're someone like I was when I went to college and I didn't have that. And so that was not something that I considered when it came to my budget. But then think about the other ways that you're going to pay. Did you get some financial aid? Were you able to get some grants or qualify for some scholarships? If not, do you have a student loan that you will be utilizing? So there's just all of these different things you have to think about. And then of course, how much are you going to be bringing in? What are you going to be earning? Will you be doing a part-time job? or a federal work study job possibly, something that I did and that I loved doing. Um, I had the opportunity to work in a library at my school that was right there on campus and it was so much fun. And so sometimes that's an option as well. So something to think about, okay? All of these different areas, where is that money going to be coming from? Next, you wanna look at your financial situation. So a really great way to do this is to log into your bank or go there and, and chat with someone, but it's right at your fingertips when it comes to logging in, which is really nice. And you can kind of break it down and put a maybe a time frame in there from the past month and really look at your spending. What did most of your money go towards? Was it going to the wants? Was it going to the needs? Was all of it really necessary? Was some of it not? So just kind of being more aware of where you're at when it comes to, you know, am I going to need to make a lot of changes or am I kind of in a good place to begin with? Right? So once you know kind of that typical month, how much you're bringing in, how much you're, you know, spending, then you can once again start to think about the necessity versus that want piece, okay, as you move forward. Okay, so next, we're gonna look at those actual numbers, okay? So once you've organized it, you have all this data in front of you, you're gonna start to add up those expenses, and then you're gonna subtract that from what it is you're bringing in when it comes to your monthly income. And that might feel a little bit overwhelming at first, thinking, oh my gosh, look at all that I'm spending. But hopefully, more than anything, it's very much eye-opening. Because think about it, if you're doing all this subtracting and in the end, 
that final number is negative, you're going to be thinking, okay, I have to change things. I have to figure out a way to make this work, especially when you're going to college and you've got all these other things going on. You really want to figure this out as best as you can so you're not in a bad place maybe after your first or second semester thinking, I have no money. But instead, you're going in with this knowledge and you're thinking about, oh, how can I make this work for me? And if that final number is indeed positive and you have extra money, that's something you can think about too. What are you going to do with that extra money? Can you put it in savings? Can you create your own little emergency fund, which is always something that you want to have if possible, six months worth if you can, that, that you kind of have just in case as that safety net if something happens. And then finally, you are going to start making that budget. Okay, so now you know the numbers, you see where you're at. One thing that you might want to do is use something called the 50-30-20 rule, where, um, oh no, where did my 20 go? It should be towards the savings, I apologize. 50% of your total goes towards your needs, 30% towards wants, and then 20% towards that savings. I apologize, pretend that there's an extra bullet point right below there. It must have got deleted when I was doing this, so I apologize. So that's a nice way to think about things. You know, the bulk is going to go towards the need, but then you still have, you know, quite a bit to go towards your wants. And then making sure you're saving for that rainy day, putting that 20% away is so important. So once you've broken it down, you know how much you're going to be getting, you know what you have to be spending for that need piece, then you can do the other, you know, math to figure out the wants and the savings. Okay. It's going to make a big, huge difference if you have your finances under control. It's going to take some stress off too, because being a new college student can sometimes be very stressful. So the last thing I really wanted to show you here are just some sample budgets. You can find these online. I just searched for them and found them. And you can kind of work out when it comes to you as a college student how much per month you're getting from all of those different areas we talked about, right? And even looking ahead and thinking about, okay, this is how much I'm going to get monthly. So let's figure out the semester and the academic year and what are my totals here. And then the fixed things, the things that I have to spend money on. And some of these you might cross out or you might cross it out and change it, depending. You know, not everything is going to necessarily apply to you. Maybe you live in a dorm on campus and you don't have a breakdown of cable and laundry and utilities. Maybe it's all included in your rent. And that's okay, too. Take those out, those lines, customize it, make it work for you. And then finally, your fixed incomes continued, but then your variable expenses. How much per month can I put towards eating out, entertainment, clothes, if I'm going to you know, go places with ride shares, or if I have a gym membership, or whatever it might be. And you can, of course, you know, customize those as well. But thinking, wow, if I spend this much a month and this much, okay, so I've got to stick to that budget. You know, If I'm only going to spend $30 a month when it comes to eating out, then I need to make sure I stick with that. Okay. And so then you've got this total income, the total amount, you do the, you know, differential, right? The income minus your expenses, right? So you figure out the first piece and then you take away the fixed expenses and the variable expenses. And you can see if you're going to be in the positive or the negative, right? So this is a great thing to just kind of think about, kind of write it out. And then it might change over time. And maybe you want to print out more sheets and then actually fill it out as you go and see if maybe in the first month, if it's accurate to what you kind of expected. And maybe if not, maybe you need to make some changes here and there. But once you kind of have it down and you can stick to it, you'll be in a really good place. If you don't want to use these sheets, you can always utilize things like Excel or Google Sheets. There's lots of different money-saving apps you guys can look up and download. I mean, even your banks or credit unions have financial tools that can help you. And so don't be afraid to reach out and ask people if you need that additional help. Also, there's small little things that I just wanted to throw in here because this is the kind of person I am. I'm all about getting things that are a little bit better price. I love the idea of shopping at thrift stores, of finding other people who are selling textbooks that you can buy from, right? Use things like student discounts. If you have a student ID, you can often get a lot of great discounts different places. Look into that. See what places offer that and use it to your advantage, okay? Think about things like different resources that are out there, you know, cooking for yourself, maybe working with your roommates and coming up with a schedule where you, you know, cook a 
each cook a meal once a week. And, you know, that helps out everybody because you're feeding them and you don't have all that extra food. So anyway, there's a lot of little small tips out there, things that you can do and change that can really make a big difference overall. So the information that I found was from bestcolleges.com. That's where you can find all of these wonderful sheets if you guys want to start working on them. There's great resources out there. Always do a little bit of research and it will really, really pay off. But I hope some of these tips are helpful. You guys can start thinking about what works best for you, what you can do moving forward, and how you can make sure that you stick to that budget while you're in college. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great rest of your day.